All right, let's dig right in to Psalm 24. Let's look down there in verse number one. The Bible reads, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. What a powerful beginning to this psalm, Psalm 24. And, you know, would to God all mankind would understand this one verse. How much better would this world be if everybody could just give respect to and understand this very first verse Hey, the earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof means and everything in it, right? This earth, this world belongs to God. God is the creator thereof. God is the one who made everything. You know, you think you own whatever you own. God owns it all. God owns the, the cattle on a thousand hills. God, th this all belongs to him just as much as we belong to him. Jesus Christ died on the cross and, and bought and paid for your soul. That's why it's called the Redeemer, because he's able to redeem you to the Lord, and you belong to Him. This world belongs to Him. Everything belongs to Him. He's given life. He's the Creator. It's all His. I mean, imagine how silly it would be for you to, to make something, create it, right? Just in this world, physically, you're, you're making something, then someone else is just like, no, that's mine. Like, I don't think so. Like, I made that. And when it comes to this whole world, God made it. So for anyone to think that, you know, any of this stuff really belongs to you, you got to think again, the earth is the Lord's, the world, and, and, so they, and they that dwell therein. The earth, all, everything in the earth, and you know what? Even all of you that dwell in the earth, you belong to the Lord. Um, turn, if you would, to Exodus chapter 9 real quick. There's a, you know, this point is made repetitively in Scripture, but I think Exodus 9 does a really good job where God demonstrates His power and just the fact, he, he iterates the fact that everything belongs to him. And occasionally, throughout history, God has taken it upon himself to make sure that man knows the earth belongs to me. And what a better example than when he did so with Egypt and Pharaoh. When God made known his mighty, strong arm and used Moses and Aaron to bring forth, you know, as his messengers, and then to bring forth the plagues and everything to demonstrate the power of the Lord in that, you know what? God can do whatever he wants to do. God causes the impossible to, ha to, to happen, to be possible. God causes things to happen on this earth that, you know, how about when the, when the earth opened up and swallowed up men from off the earth, they went straight down to hell. I mean, God's capable of doing those things. God is capable of creating a, a great fish to swallow up a man and then bobbing him out after three days and three nights. God is capable of doing all these things. Look here in verse number um, 29, where Moses is responding unto Pharaoh. Actually, no, let's, let's go up and just read it a little bit more in context. Look at verse number 27. The Bible says, And Pharaoh sent and called for Moses and Aaron and said unto them, I have sinned this time. The Lord is righteous, and I and my people are wicked. Entreat the Lord, for it is enough. That there be no more mighty thunderings and hail, and I will let you go, and you shall stay no longer. So here's another one of the plagues where uh, Pharaoh's finally had enough. He's saying, okay, 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 I'm going to let you go this time, right? And he's always backing off and saying, no, 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 I was, you know, I was just kidding. I'm not going to let you go, right? But when the bad things are happening, when the plagues are coming, he's like, all right, all right, all right, mercy. You know, I, I, I'll let you go. And he goes back and forth. So this time it's the hail, right, that's destroying all the crops and making all this damage and stuff. And he's like, fine, I'll let you go. You'll stay no longer. Verse 29 says, And Moses said unto him, As soon as I am gone out of the city, I will spread abroad my hands unto the Lord, and the thunder shall cease, neither shall there be any more hail. Look at this next phrase. That thou mayest know how that the earth is the Lord's. 